Recording drums can be a messy business. With so many close mics, there's all kinds of leakage and bleed. And you can either embrace the whole essence of it with all the resonances and rings and treat it as a whole. Or if you want more control over the individual elements, you can zero in on the close mics. And with toms, we often have a lot of leakage. These are the tom mics. And you can see the individual hits here like that. But we have all this bleed in between. So how do we get rid of it? Well, in Logic, we use the Remove Silence function. I'm going to right-click and under Split, Remove Silence from Audio Region. Control X is the key command. And it brings up what used to be called the old Strip Silence window. And I'm just going to zero these parameters so we can set them. For Threshold, I like somewhere around minus 10 or so. Let me just type in the value I want here. And then we have all the individual hits isolated, but we need the sustain of the hits and we want some pre-attack time in order to make sure we can have a nice smooth fade up. We don't miss the transient. So minimum time to accept a silence. I find something like 0.3 generally works pretty well. Now the pre-attack time, just from experience, I'm going to type in 0.1. You don't want too much because you'll pick up the snare attacks that are happening right before, but you want enough for a little fade to transition in. And then post-release time, I like a bit longer because especially with these toms, there's a lot of ring. And you can see the graphic representation of what's happening here. And I have search zero crossings on. So let me hit OK. And we see that it's removed all the silences. And if we zero in, we'll see we've got a little bit before the attack and a little bit after the end of the ring. We'll go into another one. Same thing there. Same thing with that one, same thing with that one, and so on. Now, with all of them selected, we can use the fade in and out parameters. I'm going to type in a value of maybe 100, and same thing for the out, and that should be pretty accurate for what we need here. And we can see here, that, yeah, the fade in is good, fade out. We're fading out on that next, probably a snare hit there. Let's just try one other random hit and... See here, yeah, so the fade in is great, fade out is great. Of course, you can manually go in and tweak the releases if some of them need to be longer than others, but that generally works well. Let's try the next Tom track, Control X, and I have my same settings in place, OK, and then I'll type in the same values for the fade in and then for the fade out. And it's looking pretty good. With them all selected, you can also manually tweak either the in or out time, and they'll all respond similarly. There, it's a little bit more of an aggressive fade out, just uh, adjusted manually. So that's how you remove silence from audio regions within Logic Pro. This is Eli Kranzberg for Production Expert.